Hello, this is your barista's bar class. Bar based works round the basis of a ballet or bar style dance class, but you don't have to have any bar experience, ballet experience, dance experience at all. It's just a different technique and you will find that you work parts of your body that you didn't think you had or even parts of your body that you thought you were already working. So please don't worry if you have absolutely no dance experience ever in your life, never walked into or even seen any dance, you can still do this because I will take you through it. If you have any injuries, ailments, medical conditions or complaints I need to know about, message me, Facebook me, let me know and I will give you alternatives, adaptations, anything else you need. If, there's any, if there are any questions, you can also message me or leave a comment. If you're going through YouTube, you can give me a thumbs up so that I can see how many people are managing to get in and out. So all you need is either a portable ballet bar, not many people I know have those, a chair, something that you can reach just by putting your hand to the side. This is a bit low for me. Ideally it would be here, but this will do for what I need. A chair, or you can use the wall if you've got a breakfast bar, anything like that, and a mat. And some water to take on during the class. Now when it comes to water breaks, I don't necessarily call out any water breaks, because I don't know when you're thirsty and when you need to take it on. But if you're working generically, ideally you should get through 500 mils in any exercise class, which I know can be a bit difficult, but like I said, it gives you an idea. So, we are going to get sorted. I'm just going to move this out of the way, because we're going to start without it. Hopefully you can see. I've got the sun shining right at me, and I really can't see very well today. So, we're going to start with the feet pointing forward in what we call a contemporary ballet position. We're going to breathe in, bring one on that. Exhale, take it down. Soft knees, inhale, up. Take it down. Inhale, up. Take it down. Inhale. Four more, now I'm trying to reach over something so I can feel the stretch. And it's a gentle stretch. We don't force the stretch before we're warmed up. Then again. Up and down, and up, and down, and up, socks or bare feet, preferably not trainers, across, if you've got trainers on, just be aware that your balance is going to be the same, unless you've got those uh, bare foot trainers, that'd be different. Single, single, center, across, four, three, other side, we're warming up, two, one, single, one, two, up, down, two, across, try not to twist, Woo! yesterday's abs. Breathe up, push, and down. 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 Breathe up, push. Arm over the head. Single, single. We're getting there. Inhale, across, and again, breathe up, push, and down, breathe up, push, one more time, that routine, one, two, three, everybody should be feeling a little bit warmer now, and again. Breathe up and push. Breathe up and push. 
Okay, so what we're going to do now is bring the heels together. This tucks under. Shoulders back and down. Working from your bum. Take your feet out and in. Now watch my toes. They're not dragging the floor. I'm lifting up and I'm pivoting through my heels. Woo. This stays under the whole time, so there's no pushing back like this, ever. It's under. And you literally squeeze the bottom cheeks together, so they're here and they squeeze, and they squeeze, and they squeeze, and they squeeze. Then we're going to up and down. One. When I come out onto what's called a releve, think of pushing the heel up and forward. So it's underneath the bar, underneath the bar, underneath the calf. I couldn't think of the name. Now if you want to do ballet arms, you don't have to, you can leave by your side. But if you want to make it more of a bar style arm, you bring the arms just in front, you have a small gap between the fingers, and you rest the outside of your little fingers gently on your leg. One. Now you have to be careful that you don't come up in stages. Four. Three. And then we're going to put this all together. You ready? We're going to flow a little bit today. We take the arm out. Toes have gone back. So I've gone back to my contemporary thing. Contemporary means they just point forward. Heels together, open out and in, squeezing the bum, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, hold, up and down, shoulders, slide them down your back, like a little bit of armour, don't let the knees go, come on, four, Woo. relax the toes, you're going to be able to stay up, two, one more time from the top, toes forward, here we go, one, Two, up, and down, and across, and across, woo, pick it up, one more, heels and toes together, then open, I don't know what's going on with my mouth today, but it's not doing what my brain is saying, hold, up and down, bum under. So when you lower, don't drop. Ooh, it hurts anyway. You try to peel the foot down. Four. Three. Two. One. Now you're going to bring the arms up, take them out, come down, and roll the shoulders. Forward. And when you come up, imagine you're holding a huge balloon. And when you take them out to the side, you squeeze the shoulder blades together. Four more. Bum still under. Got to keep that baby squeezed. Waking up the shoulders now. So you're not here. Just going to hurt your neck. You ready? Back we go. You ready? Over. up your spine as well as your waist because you're trying to stay forward and tucked. I'm lifting the feet, they're clearing the floor. Hold. One. Two. Come on, squeeze it tight. Three. Four more. Four. Now we're going to carry on with these, but add the movement of the arms, the character of the arms, the autograph. So you're waking up those calves and ankles beautifully. You're distracting by the arms. Woo. One more. Good. Now, if you want to grab the bar on the wall, you can. You don't have to. You know you've got immaculate balance today. 
You really, really don't have to. But I'm going to so I can show you. Okay. We've done your lift. So we're going to go back by squeezing your butt. You rotate the legs. So don't just turn the knee, feet out. Knees, take you. Yeah. Nice and strong. Take one foot out. Now you're going to flex, extend. That's good toes, naughty toes. Good toes, but not here. Change sides, bring it back, flex, push. The whole of the leg is involved when you don't just point your toes, you don't just point your foot, you point your leg. Arm comes up, out. You've got plantar fasciitis change legs, this is so lovely to do because it stretches the fascia. Right, we're going to come in, take the legs behind and pedal slightly. We're starting with a contemporary pedal, which means your toes point forward. Don't stick the bum out. Tuck it under. Now, raise and lower. As you can see, I'm trying to keep a straight line, and this is where if the bar was a bit higher, I'd find it easier. My bar's a little bit low. Now, coming in slightly, turn out from your hip again and take them back so you're still on that slant. Up. We'll change it, don't worry, we're not going to be here long, but I want this tucked under as if you're trying to get it out of the way. Four. Three. Two, we're going to get a lot of work into those ankles. Can you alternate? Stand up now. Ooh, so I'm doing this. You can do it one handed if you want. I just don't want you to lean. Okay, coming in. Take a step forward, contemporary position. I'm going to get the furthest leg away from you. You can do what you like. Take that leg out, push it down. Come on. Down, come up. Changing our class today, waking up different parts of the body. Three, two, we're just easing into it and change. Contemporary feel of the legs, hips level, bum, underbelly, in waist squeeze. Anything else you can think of, shoulders down. Good. Coming round. Now we're going to go back into all the basics. So you don't have to swing your chair around. You can always stand it sideways. So you can always stand it this way and move that way. I'm doing it this way so you can see what I'm doing. You stand tall. You rotate. Butt goes under. Arms are soft. demi clear, which means halfway. Heels stay down. A demi plie stops when you cannot keep your heels down any longer. So you don't just bend the legs, you go until you feel you've got to lift the heels up. That's the best way to practice it. Four, don't hold your leg, relax your hand. Three, two, one, arm up and back and repeat. Now we're going to change sides, you can swivel round. Here we go. One. I'm pushing my knee back over my second toe. Squeeze in here really tight. This bit should ache. Four. Three. Two. One. Over and back. Over and back. Right. Four plie. This is where you'll know. If you're leaning, you're going to struggle. You go down so you can't keep Heels down anymore, and then you carry on. One, two, up. One, two, up. One, two. I'm going to give you a tip. Get those heels up high, because then you can sit on them. Keep the heels down as long as possible. We get belly legs, 
How many dancers do you know that have got knack legs? Yeah. I'm going to change sides. Maybe because if you're always leaning on one side, no matter what, you are going to be slightly tilted towards the power of that leg. So I want to stabilize my balance. Whew. Now I'm taking the arm down with me. What I'm not doing is coming in so that the knees are here. That's so comfy. Ballet's not comfy. But it really does get into a whole different area of your glutes and your hamstrings. So if you only ever do normal squats, you're missing small sections. Woo! Good job. Change sides. That was small plie, meaning you went the full distance and you got your feet off the floor. But mostly everything that it does makes sense. So we're going to point the foot now. Now what you'll notice is this bit is coming forward. One, two. If you've been doing this with me the last few weeks, you will know that you push forward with your heel, drag back with your toe. Forward heel, back toe. See? This is my short side. This is a little difficult. You can see I'm not level, but I can't physically grow that leg, I'm afraid. Change sides. Tondu. Tondu. Don't follow with the hip. Push with the heel, leave with the toe. Push with the heel, leave with the toe. Push. Push. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, draw up, five, draw down, knee in the middle, three, two, one, good job, side tondu, so if you're going to the side, you push along till that heel cannot stay on the floor anymore to get to a point, and then you try and pull back until you can't keep Heel off the floor. Heel last, heel last, both sides. We go at an angle, maybe that's going to be easier for you. We go side, side, side. Now you're really turning out from the hip. If right in here is hurting, you've got it right. If you're not getting it in your butt, you're right, you're already a ballet dancer, or you're not turning from your hip enough. Ready to change sides. It's a very well travelled chair, this. Now, I need to start putting my belly bun in, I think. Now, we're going to go back to the other side and we're going to put a one and a two. So, you're going to go forward and side. And we're going to turn this into a little flow routine with everything you've done so far. So I'm building it up for you. So, here. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. See the difference? Knee over toe, two, Weight still in your heel. Three. And four. And five. Woo! Six. Two more. One more. Yes. We got it. Your butt's hurting. Oh, 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 oh. Bad, put it right. So, start with the normal, then change the arm, then add the lean, then add the demi plie in this leg. So it's one, two. Now you're going to bring this arm forward now. So you're getting all the options. Now, if you want, you can take the arm. The palm faces down. 
the two middle fingers drop, the little finger, the house of, you're basically doing the house of rock with your fingers. Now turn and look over that shoulder with a slight lean back as if you're trying to talk to someone and you've got someone in the way. So you're trying to talk around the back of someone. And it's the other second toe. Yeah? Good. Ooh. If it hurts turning your neck, keep it to the front, but lean. You've got two more. back can we remember we're going to do here we're going to come up we're going to go across we're going to push we're going to releve toes forward to stop here we go two leans across same on in and up two across this way Yes, I went up, forward, up, forward, toes that in, one, two, three, up, fingertip control, you don't have to hold on if you want, make sure everything here is tight as well, you've got four more, four, three, two, Demi plie, one, shoulders up, two, push the knees back, three, four, demi and rise, releve up, one more, demi, releve up, full, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, woo, and again, Now we're not going to do the stretches because we don't need to take a stretch. Don't lean. There shouldn't be a body movement to get that leg out. Forward. Side. Forward. Side. Forward. Side. Forward. Side, calm down, calm down, look behind, look behind, add that bend, Woo! those legs, so shaky, one more, Can you remember that whole flow on the other side? I'll explain why this toe hurts in a minute. Long story, we won't do it too more, but when we get to the back, I'll be telling you. Are you ready? Contemporary feet. Ready to go full plie? 
So if you're lifting your right leg, I want you to bend the left leg. Have the foot slightly turned out now to give you a broader base spectrum. So I'm going to be here, and then I'm going to turn that leg slightly. Wiggle the toes. Up. Out. In. Down. Up. Out. Whoops. In. She says holding the wall because she's not doing it herself. Up. Out. In. Now my balance is stronger when I'm looking straight out my door. Yes. So you will know ballet dancers always seem to look down when they're reaching, but they're actually looking down about 15, 18 feet away. They're not looking straight down. So if you've got a door or a window or the end of a room or something, focus away. Very hard for your arms to reach and your leg to reach if your head is looking opposite way. Okay, coming on. 
onto your back. We're going to start with a real basic kick or bottom up if you want the correct word. Small kick is an ordinary bottom on. A full arm one is called a wrong bottom on. So this leg is going to stay here for the moment. This leg is going to slide out. Turn out. Now you're lifting from the inside of your instep. So you're not getting the instep pointing towards you. You're trying to see the side of your leg. We're waking it up. Body is steady. Body steady. And 
change sides. So it's here. Quad stretch, tall. And change. Ready to finish your class. One, two, three, four. Side, back, forward, together. 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 Side, back. Forward, together, side, back, forward, together, one, and one more, you did it, well done, well done, I hope you've enjoyed that, it was a bit more flowy than normal, but it's nice to have a chop and a change, and I'll see you in here really soon, please keep staying safe, we're almost at the end of this now. Take care guys, bye.